you only get one chance to develop a brain. And if, if the brain has not uh, been developed in an optimal way, then that's what you're stuck with the rest of your life. Medical researchers have learned that omega-3 fatty acids, particularly DHA, are critical for brain development. The brain is made of fats and lipids. And some of these fats and lipids can only be obtained from the diet, especially DHA, one of the omega-3 fatty acids. So if you don't eat enough omega-3 fatty acids, it has a profound impact because you literally can't make a new brain without adequate amounts of DHA. Sort of like building a house. You can't do it without concrete and two by fours. And if it's not there, if it's not present in the diet, the neurons don't form correctly and they don't function correctly. Omega-3 fatty acids are found in minor sources in plants, and so flaxseed and walnuts are, and soybeans are some sources. But the long chain omega-3s are really only found in shellfish and fish. And omega-3 fatty acids can't be made by humans to any appreciable extent. And so really to get the long chain omega-3 fatty acids in the body, you have to eat seafood. Not having enough seafood in the diet could have major impacts on the developing brain, both in the womb and during infancy. DHA is particularly important for the structure and function of the brain and the eye, the neurologic tissues, and it appears that the great majority of the DHA that's in the brain and the eye is taken up in the third trimester of pregnancy and the first year or two of life. Some experts recommend that women during pregnancy try to get in about 200 milligrams of DHA a day. On average in the U.S., pregnant women are getting around 80 milligrams of DHA a day. That would be in contrast to uh, women in Norway, for example, that consume about 300 milligrams. In Japan, even higher. And we have one of the lowest DHA uh, levels in human milk in the world. The Sudan in Africa is below us. Vegan vegetarians are lower, but we're in comparison to some very severely deprived groups. Okay, you're missing something here. Check that out. Such low levels are of concern because the DHA found in shellfish and fish helps young brains develop as measured by everything, from their attention span to IQ scores. The story that is well developed for the last 30 years on omega-3 fatty acids and DHA in particular is related to neural development, to visual development. But even recently, we're finding that DHA is affecting the developing autonomic nervous system and the developing immune system. Jack put it on. So far, the story is if you eat more DHA, there's benefits for all the systems.